My name is Sven Schilling and I am sales engineer at ESAP Belgium. I am here at Elemental together with Frederik Schatteman, our application specialist. Elemental is a well-respected client of ESAP that is a world player in pressure vessels, silos and storage tanks. In this film, we are going to highlight our new B3 filler material, which Elemental uses for the first time on this reactor. Also, we are going to talk about ASAP automation products and retrofit solutions. My name is Paul Dalbege, Business Development Manager at Elemental. Elemental is a Belgian company that provides a truly personal approach combined with a passion for design, engineering and manufacturing excellence. We are a global player and an approved vendor for many end customers and EPC contractors for pressure vessels, heat exchangers, storage bullets, tanks and silos. And this for a variety of industries. As for example, petrochemical, oil and gas, power, carbon capture and hydrogen. Alimetal exists already for quite some time. We were founded in 1964, where we supplied to local farmers. Now, together with more than 250 colleagues, we supply worldwide and are manufacturing complex and challenging equipment. So 800 tons and a diameter of 10 meters in our three Belgian workshops. As a sustainable company, we are committed to creating added value for our customers through our tradition, of quality and innovation and flexibility. For example, Alimetal is now building columns for the first realized carbon capture project in Europe. Also this project, where we work close together with ASAP, is to create a more sustainable environment and to reduce the carbon dioxide emission. Alimetal and ASAP go a long way back. We have counted on their support, knowledge and expertise related to welding and welding machines for many years. And we still do. We, as Alimetal, chose specifically to work with ASAP because of the knowledge and reliable products, but above all, for their personal and very professional approach. Especially on this challenging project, where it is for Alimetal the first time to weld tuna quartz chrome material above a 100 mm thickness range. Together with ASAP, we can take on every challenge. The filler material B3SC is created for different welding processes such as stick electrode, tick and submerge arc welding. In this project we are looking at our OKA B3SC combined with our OKA Flux 1065. This is a agglomerated fluoride basic flux wire combination for submerged arc welding. Designed for multi-run welding of creep resistant 2.25% chrome and 1% molybdene steels. After step cooling, high toughness values are achieved with very low level of impurity. For temper brittle resistant applications, this material contains elements providing a X bar max of 10. After welding, post weld heat treatment is done and hydrogen levels per 100 grams are lower than 5 milliliters. Designed for single and multi-wire welding procedures on DC and AC current. Narrow gap welding of unlimited plate thicknesses is possible due to a very good slack release. This filler material is suitable for refineries, petrochemicals, chemical industries, power plants, pressure vessels and many more. This project is a very nice and important order that contains two reactors of two and a quarter chrome and one moly steel. The larger reactor has a wall thickness of 103 mil and a diameter of 4.4 meter with a length of 37 meter. The total weight is roughly 485 ton. The second reactor has a wall thickness of 89 mil and a diameter of 4.2 meter with a length of 17 meter. The reactor will operate at 450 degrees Celsius. The tough requirements according to API 934A were very demanding and challenging. We need to get an impact test values at 
55 Joule at minus 29 degrees Celsius. The X bar shall be less than 15. The step cooling test was required and the maximum hardness was 235 Vickers. The filler metal needed to be 3.2 chemical and also mechanical certified, including a step cooling. The OK Outroad B3SC was designed especially for this. We were invited to the work group directly with the INSAP R&D team. During these technical meetings, every requirement of the API was discussed. Based on the new narrow gap preparation, the tandem wire need to be possible in the groove design. And last but not least, the delivery time was guaranteed. Creating this thickness to a temperature of 200 degrees Celsius and maintaining the interpass temperature below the 305 degrees Celsius during welding is a challenge. The heat input needed to be controlled during the welding process to guarantee the impact values. After the welding, the material need also be hydrogen soaked at a temperature of 300 degrees Celsius for one hour. The complete reactor will be post weld treated at a temperature of 619 degrees Celsius to regain the mechanical properties of the materials. Regarding the critical process, there was no room for reparations and we needed a flux combination that was reliable in these conditions. A good slack release, fusion in the groove and penetration is the key with these thicknesses. The OK Outroad B3SC and OK Flux 10.65 is proving all of this. The main goal was to achieve higher productivity through this project. So we needed a new state-of-art equipment that was reliable, durable and user-friendly. The rebuilding between the welding processes needed to be fast and efficient to minimize the downtime. And of course, we will benefit from this on all upcoming projects. My name is Friedrich Schotteman, Application Specialist for ASAP Belgium. I'm going to introduce the retrofit of the welding crane. This column and boom is an old ASAP CAP 600, a 6 meter by 9 meter, retrofitted by DIN Tools, a local service center and dealer in Belgium. The column and boom is equipped with three power sources, two times LEF 1251 for DC plus and one Arista 1000 AC-DC. This to make several welding processes possible, such as submerged arc single wire, multi-wire, electro slag, and ice in the future. Talking about the power sources, we have two LEF 1251 DC power sources. They have each 100% duty cycle of 1250 amps, mainly to weld single wire, twin wire, or ice solutions. A special thing on this column and boom is that the two LEF 1251 power sources can be connected and they put out 2,500 amps, so electroslide welding with a large trip becomes possible. There is also an Arista 1000 AC-DC on this column and boom, to use mainly in AC mode for tandem welding applications. The Arista power source has a 100% duty cycle of 1,000 amp and the ability to use unbalanced AC wave to generate higher deposition rate with a lower heat input. The welding head used on this column and boom is the A6DS tandem welding head. Suitable for heavy construction welding and capable of welding DC-DC, DC-AC or AC-AC. It's equipped with a laser guide GMH, joint tracking that interacts with the motorized servo slides. The OPC flux recovery system together with the TPC-75 flux tank. This stores preheated flux to eliminate noise in the system. The complete setup is controlled by two PK control systems. This is a very user-friendly system. The five soft keys 
can be configured according to operator's preferences. Voltage, amperage and travel speed can be easily adjusted. It has 255 memory positions to store parameters and many other features. We as ESAP provide custom fitted automation solutions. We are doing this already for decades. This to fulfill the needs of our customers. In the recent market, the retrofitting business is rising to new heights. This to refurbish the old with the new equipment that reaches for a higher level of quality and production. We can provide this in several different ways to our customers. Project-based, we can do this as a direct service from ESAP or through our preferred dealer network. For more information, don't hesitate to reach out to your local ESAP contact.